Hey there Mark fans and welcome to an episode of Mark's Model Moment. Now today we're doing 60102 and that is a LEGO City Airport VIP service. This set came out in 2016, it has 364 pieces and 4 minifigures. If you'd like to see the build then click on the link in the bottom left. If not, just stay on this video and you'll get to see the full review. Well here we are then, the uh, completed LEGO City 60102, the uh, luxury VIP um, airport set. Overall, I really do like this. It is a pretty cool set. You got a good uh, range of vehicles here. You got a little uh, cart here for it says uh, follow me on the back. You know for the for the pilot to follow this. But I'll get into something about that later, which I think you can do. Um, got the limo, um, which it. Looks good, but again, I'll get into that later. And you got the plane, which definitely looks excellent. And uh, but there is something that I find slightly off about it. But as with most of my reviews, I'm going to start off with the minifigures. And I really do like the selection of minifigures that you do get with this set. Uh, we'll start off with the driver, just because it's on the left. In no particular order, these. <laughs> um, I like the driver. The driver has uh, a great uh, face to him he's got some good really good printing on his torso and uh, nothing on the back unfortunately but on the front great colorization there the, the the black and the blue work really nice in conjunction together and I think it's it's a very good it's a very good solid minifigure nothing too fantastic about it but it just works we'll move on to the airport uh yeah the the airport worker the guy that drives a little cat i like this uh, i mean i've done another set recently that has got a similar uniformed guy and i am liking the city airport uniforms really cool i like the high-vis jacket they have got these reflective bands on that just seem to catch the light really nicely and uh, the the color of the uniform is great the blue i really do like the blue um again nothing that stands out about the minifigure as being unique uh against other minifigures from other sets uh but it just just works now for the next one it has been the toss up for me which is my favorite from the the from this set i think the 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 businesswoman is pretty cool. I think it's very subtle, very understated uh, suit that she is that she is wearing. It is some great printing on there. Um, the buttons uh, look particularly nice, and I like that there's back printing. Uh, however subtle it is, there is uh, some back printing on there. The face uh, we've seen it. Uh, many times before as with the other minifigure faces we've seen it many times before but she does seem to come with this uh, mobile phone now I don't think I've seen that mobile phone before uh, I'm not certain on that unfortunately it would have been nice to get a spare one of those uh, we've had the sets before where you've got a spare mobile phone and it's been pretty cool to get that and you also get one of these um, uh, laptops that fold up and the minifigure can carry it when it's folded up so pretty cool but on balance I do think that the pilot is the best printed minifigure um, again it's because it's really subtle but the double breasted jacket along with the gold plane that is just on his left breast there absolutely fantastic um it's not that some uh, uh, you know some main thing does jump out of you it's just the printing on this however basic it is works really well so i i i do like i think that is my favorite minifigure of the set even though it is a really basic minifigure this the gold buttons and the logo just really cool on that so we'll move on to this cat now um i like this there's nothing wrong with this it's 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 so small you can't actually find fault with it and uh, i'm not saying it's it's small as a fault i think it just it looks right it does the job 
and it's quite cool and i especially like the uh the ban the little led thing on the back saying follow me pretty good and it's got a couple of it's got a clip on the side for the radio and another clip for the for the light and i honestly i can't find anything bad to say about this now i did say i think you could slightly change the design yourself i'm not saying that this design is bad but i think you could change this a little bit and along with a part of the plane and instead of it being the sign that says follow me you could have it um with a stud with one of them ropes uh, that could attach to this and then attach to the front of the plane uh, on the on the wheel at the front and you could have it as a tow maybe instead of uh, being just follow me it'd be a, a total a little tow truck so I think that'd be cool you could you could very easily modify that uh, it, it's only a couple of pieces that you'd have to take off and put on a different style of piece so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do that myself have a little bit of fun with it but I think that this if I can't do it this design is great and can't really say anything wrong about it we'll move on to the limo next and I I think this is the worst part of the set it is you know it's not the main part of the set but I honestly think that it is a bit of a, a waste uh, with all this uh, with all the space that is in this limo to be only be able to fit the driver in the front and the actual passenger in the back it is a massive waste of space um didn't need to be this big it could have just been a just could have had this uh, section not in here and just had a larger car uh still as a limo but just without this this central section and i think it looked a lot better and the proportions of it are really off i know it's a stretch limo but it does look very off especially since you can only fit the driver and just one passenger in there and the details in here aren't really that many uh, you've got a little space at the back for the luggage uh, for the for the laptop there uh, and you've got this fridge in the center which has one lollipop inside it uh, one one nice ice lolly and this little computer screen which I even missed it in the instructions of where that was meant to go I had to recheck all the instructions just to try and figure it out that is how subtle and unnecessary that is really um, there are good points about this but I think the good points just get so outweighed by the bad it is unreal but I will say well uh, a really good design on the actual front bonnet here great that they've got in the, in, in four studs uh, in, in the width of four studs they managed to get indicators that are very subtle very good and headlights and a grill and a really good front bonnet not enough to outweigh the bad parts of this limo but an excellent front bonnet especially the the subtle indicators there we'll move on to the main part of this set it's it's definitely the main event it's the the plane this uh, as my first real proper plane uh, uh, for building I am very happy with this uh, oh definitely overall I am very happy with this now I was disappointed that there wasn't a door to get into here it's all windows on the side but it might have been too difficult to actually fit a door in there I believe that the tail is this part uh, compared to the rest of the plane this bit looks too big and this bit looks too small um so there's a bit of a scaling issue there but you can't really do much about that they, they only have these parts in certain sizes and i'm trying to think uh, what was the other bit that i wasn't particularly keen on um oh no nothing that i wasn't keen on it was just the same idea about you, you change this round tile for a actual stud a clear stud and you can try and do that tour rope that i mentioned before uh with the actual cart so overall looking at the outside it is brilliant i really enjoy the wings i like the wheels uh, especially the front one uh with the way that this turns you get a, a zero turning circle uh when it's on the on the ground now to open it up you, you pull off the cockpit first and inside you get not really a detailed interior you just get this nice printed brick 
with all the the flight controls on there it's got a flight stick uh the horizon the horizon level and a couple of other dials that i'm not sure what they are uh, and then you can open up the rest of the the plane by just pulling it on the roof and it comes off in two sections and in here you've got space for three passengers and a little bit of luggage in the back there's also a nice little croissant and a drink there uh, with a map uh, of the, the flight plan just at the front there and also at the back just next to the croissant and wine glass there is a, oh, a, a stocks and shares index uh, showing how well or bad it is going finally to finish off the, the plane I don't think this is intentional as part of the design but you could if you if you did want to take off this rear section and use the hollow space here as maybe a luggage rack uh, maybe you could put some boxes in there and parcels and just have it as it's extra storage space and it's pretty cool you could easily use that overall this set is extremely good and as a first proper plane that I've got I am very happy with it um, I would think that the, the design of the limo could be changed uh, just to make it so you could get just an extra passenger in there um, but apart from that I would recommend this set if you are thinking of starting an airport this is, and it, which is the reason why I got it I wanted it to start an airport I figured just get a smaller plane um, I might get uh, another plane as well just to just to, just to have just a small airport uh, in my relatively small city so I'm I'm quite looking forward to being able to sort that out aside from the the niggles that I've got with the limo I do think it's a, a really good set and I'm excited to get uh, an, an extra plane and I'm even excited just to put it into my city now thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next much Model moment good day mm -hmm.